Samsung has finally kicked off development of One UI 8.5 for the Galaxy Z Fold 7, and we got our hands on an early build. The moment we fired it up, the excitement hit fast. Everyone's been asking the same thing, how different is it from the Galaxy S25 Ultra? And did Samsung slip in anything special just for the foldable experience? After spending a short while exploring this early version, it's clear there isn't a huge list of changes yet. It feels very close to what you get on the S25 Ultra, but we did notice a couple of foldable focus touches. In the phone app, you can now pop open the keypad straight from the call logs, and it shows up as a small floating window instead of taking over the whole screen. Samsung also refined how the notification shade behaves. When you swipe down from the top, it now shifts to the left, the center, or the right based on where your finger starts. It's a small detail, but it feels surprisingly natural on a big foldable screen. Everything else mirrors the S25 Ultra's version of One UI 8.5. You get a fully customizable quick panel, cleaner navigation bars and apps like phone and gallery, and a bottom place search bar in settings that makes one-handed use easier. The software update page also has that new bold look, with the One UI version displayed front and center. We'll keep digging into this firmware to uncover more improvements. Just remember this is an early build, so Samsung is still holding back features that will arrive later. The next updates should add more polish and hopefully fix the issues we found, like the camera app crashing whenever flex mode is turned on. Samsung looks ready to fire up the foldable race in a big way. 2026 is shaping up to be the year the company pushes harder than ever, and the pressure is real with Apple getting closer to launching its first foldable iPhone. The Galaxy Z Flip 7 and Galaxy Z Fold 7 already broke pre-order records in several countries, but Samsung wants more. A new report from The Bell, shared through Ju Conlos Rev on X, says Samsung is targeting 6.7 million foldable sales next year. That's roughly a 10% jump from its 2025 lineup. Samsung is putting most of its energy into the Galaxy Z Flip 8, and insiders say the upgrades will be meaningful. The phone is expected to arrive in mid-2026, with a thinner, lighter design design and a more refined form factor that could help Samsung stay ahead before Apple enters the game. If you're still watching, that means you love tech, so hit subscribe and prove it. Some of these improvements may come from what Samsung learned while developing the Galaxy S25 Edge. The goal is to make the Galaxy Z Flip 8 about 10% thinner and lighter than the Flip 7. What's unclear is whether Samsung will introduce stronger camera hardware or a larger milliampere hour battery. The report also mentions that Samsung is aiming to sell 36 million units of the Galaxy S26 series, which matches this year's sales target for the Galaxy S25 lineup. That means most of the company's growth expectations rely on its foldables. If Samsung doesn't deliver major upgrades, it risks losing ground and giving Apple a chance to cut into its market share.